let's learn a little more about these frames, keyframes, and layers. So I'm going to show you something else that I can do. I can not only, let's say, copy items on the stage. I'm going to unlock this. Notice how it was locked, so I couldn't select it because I had it locked. So I'm going to unlock it. I've got the right layer selected. I can select an object and copy and paste an object, but I can also copy and paste entire frames or even regions of frames. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'll select over here first. I'm just going to click and drag while I'm highlighting all of these frames where my circle exists. And then I'll right click and I'll say copy frames. Okay. Now what I can do is I can, and this went from 1 to 15, so I'm going to highlight 16 to let's say uh, 30, and then I will paste frames. Okay, so I just pasted a duplicate of all those frames. Now what I can also do is I can right click on this and I can um, reverse the frames, almost like reversing their order. Right, so let's see how it looks right now. So right now, you've got the ball that goes like this, and then it starts over again, and the ball does it again. Right, so you can see here, control play, the ball moves across, then the ball moves across. Right. Well, let's try to stop that. And what we'll do is instead, what I'm going to do is, and I can click here, and then I can hold down the shift key, and click here at the end to highlight. And I'll right click, and I'll say reverse frames. Okay, so that reverses the order. So now, let's see, it's going to go like this and move across, and then it's actually going to move backwards. So I've copied these frames, pasted these frames, and then reversed the order of the frames. So let's see it now. Control play. So now it goes over, and then it goes back. Goes over, goes back. Goes over, goes back. Now, of course, timing is important, and you have to have timing, right? Another thing that I want to show you is that let's say that these keyframes right here, right, with these um, guys right here, I'm going to move him, let's say I'll move him right here, okay, and then over here I'll move him up here, and then I'll take him, move him here and then I'll click on this keyframe and move him up here. So now, as you can see, and then I'll put regular frames for the rest. I'll hit F5. So now, control play, you see that the green square is on top of the red circle. Control stop. And what I can also do is, I could take this frame and I can say, I want this to be in the whole movie. So I'll just drag it over, right? So now the movie is like this, right? And you can see there's a frame where the green square is on top of the um, red circle. Control stop. Let's take this and drag this over. And we'll see if we can get that to play again. So the green square is on top of the red circle. Well, just like in Photoshop or other programs that have layers, you can just click and drag these layers and now the circle layer is on top of the um, green square layer and notice the circle on the stage is above it or I could drag again and now the green square is on top so once again playing with keyframes if I decide I want to remove a portion of frames I could just highlight and say remove frames if I decide I want to put a blank keyframe in the middle I could say insert blank keyframe so now the green square is there and then it disappears and then it comes back so all of these things can happen okay and here's the next concept that I'm going to throw at you this is pretty cool I'm gonna go out here to frame 50 and hit F5 and then over here on this layer I'll do the same so now we hit control play things are moving around and then things kinda of stay the same for a while notice at the end stays the same right Okay, well I wanted to do that because I wanted to highlight something else about the timeline that's very important. And that is the concept of movie clips and that movie clips have their own timelines. So for instance, I could take this circle, right, this last circle on this keyframe right here, and I could convert it to a movie clip. 
So I'll do that. I'll say modify convert to symbol and then it's going to be a movie clip symbol. So movie clip, right? And I'll just take the default name symbol one and I'll make the registration point though in the center since it is a circle. The registration point would be best served in the center. So I'll click OK. And so now this item right here, instead of being a shape like this square, notice property window says shape, this circle is now actually a movie clip. And what does that mean? It means it exists in our library and we can drag it out from the library as many times as we want. It's a reusable um, graphic or a reusable uh, item. And so now this movie clip, believe it or not, has its own timeline. So as I said before, movie clips have their own timeline. So this circle has its own timeline. So for instance, if I want to access this movie clips timeline, I can double click on it and now I go into symbol editing mode as you can see right here scene one and this is scene one this is the scene one timeline I double click on the circle movie clip and now I'm in the symbol one timeline notice the timeline shows only one layer with only one keyframe so watch what I'll do I'll take this and I'll make a new keyframe right here and I'll change the color of the circle to black right so now there's a little movie inside of the circle and this movie is going to look like this right so now I'll do control stop so now if I go back to scene one and click on the scene one timeline we can't tell that that's there but we've got this movie that plays and at the last at the end here you've got this circle but this circle is not just any old circle it's a movie clip that has a little movie inside of it two keyframes inside of it its own timeline and it's gonna play and to see that in action if we hit control play we won't see that right T to see that in action we actually have to make a movie a flash movie so what we do is we hit control stop we'll hit control test movie to publish our flash movie so we go test movie and test it's control enter on the keyboard it makes our flash movie and those noticed at the end how it starts um, vibrating between the two keyframes and the colors flashing almost when when our movie clip is accessed at the end okay so right now you might be saying well so what so what that you have a little movie and then the ball flashes like that well the idea is is that the fact that you can have a movie clip in your movie means that this object can have its own advanced set of keyframes or positions and it can be very useful for animation so for instance I've dragged in some um, some things from another uh, movie here and I'll just take it out here is a little dove that I created right and this is a little dove that I used and you can see that it's a movie clip right so I put it on the stage here so now it exists right here right but inside this movie clip if I click on it and double click on it you can see that there's actually a bunch of different keyframes that are little stages of the dove flying so if I was to press play you can see that it actually flies so now if I stop and play the movie you'll see there's the the bird flying on that keyframe right so that's a lot more advanced than just a circle blinking also I've got another object in here let's see here um, called sprite and I'll drag this one out and this is a character right but if I click enter we'll see you can see it's walking so in this movie clip right double click on it you can see that there is walking keyframes you can see all the layers right there's a stop area where the head tilts there's even this other actions that I've created for him that happen in stages right so all these different things there's a jumping sequence and it's all done in layers and keyframes and it's all nested right inside of this movie clip and you wouldn't know that there's all that happening but all you have to do is double click on the movie clip to see its own timeline and its own layers and you can see that you can have very advanced sequences of animation all contained within these reusable little movie clips